Look, I, I guess the, you know, the hunt for yield in a, a low interest rate environment uh, can be very tempting. Uh, you know, there is a lot of illiquid product which is on offer or lower credit quality which is on offer. And as long as investors really understand the risks and the liquidity implications of some of those offerings, then that's fine. But uh, I think it's just really important that there is seems to be some complacency uh, around some of those liquidity profiles. We've already seen a number of uh, credit funds internationally be gated and frozen, and that's happened well ahead of any material uh, problem in the broader complex. I guess it's eerily a little bit like Bear Stearns ahead of the you know, the major event in 2008. So there are those worrying, uh, you know, warning signals for investors, but that's to be, uh, you know, probably too pessimistic at this point. But it really is very important that investors understand deeply what they're investing in, understand the risks and the liquidity profiles of those offerings, and not just look at observable headline yield and think, well, this will do me for now because my alternatives are clearly very, very low. It's obviously a period where you know, preservation of capital can be as important as return of capital. And it really is something that investors need to think through. I think, uh, you know, we say that credit markets or equity markets, they run on greed. Well, credit markets run on fear. And when we see this asymmetry in some of those markets, we can see very, uh, you know, violent price dec de declines. Not always justified, I might add, but it is something that we don't want investors, particularly who are looking for a defend and protect type allocation to have to experience, you know, material haircuts or, or uh, you know, vast lockup periods where they don't have access to that money when they really need it.